just asking the obvious, how are you getting acclimated with your first uh, observations from uh, being around practice and getting busy here? Yeah, I think everything's going well. You know, so far I'm fortunate to walk into an unbelievable tight end room with a bunch of good guys who are trying to help each other out. And so um, definitely getting situated pretty well and excited for the year. Uh, follow up here while everybody's catching up with us. Um, uh, any thoughts on uh, working with Philip Rivers yet? Yeah, he's fun, fun to be around. I mean, he's obviously one of the smartest guys I've ever played with. And, um, definitely gets us in the right plays, and um, it's just it's fun to be around. I didn't know if there's a moment where a guy kind of something happens or something clicks or you just kind of you get into a rhythm and maybe you've not had enough time yet or not for that, but I didn't know if there's that kind of moment. No, I just I mean, just his overall command of the huddle, his overall command of the offense, and the fact that uh, I think day one, the first time I saw him when we threw over the offseason, just, you know, I was really – impressed in um, how he has commanded the offense. Thank you. Mike Chappell. Yeah, Trey, you've got a, a history with Frank, and and you know how this team likes to maximize tight ends. Just how do you assess what how he likes to use tight ends and what you guys can do for an offense as a group? Yeah, the tight end position has been really um, – uh, they've put up a lot, of, a lot of stats, you know, really productive. Um, the last couple of years with Frank and even when we were in Philly and um, and before that. So um, we're all well aware of that and we're excited just to, you know, do our part to help us win. You talked to us in, in the off season about how, you know, last season was just such a struggle. Do you feel like you've, you are, are, is that behind you and now you're just, you're healthy and as healthy as you can be and you're moving forward. How, how are you, again, you, are you looking at this year? I'm definitely feeling a lot better. That's for sure. And um, we have a great staff, you know, in the training room and, in the weight room. And so uh, it's been definitely a breath, of, a breath of fresh air for me, um, you know, coming off of the surgeries that I've had to come off of. And, um, we're taking it slow, you know, but I'm definitely feeling better than I was last year at this point. Joel Erickson. Uh, the role you play in Frank's offense, um, is it, you obviously haven't played it before, is it, is it pretty easy for you to just get back in it and kind of know what they want from it? And how is it different from what you had to do in Chicago? Yeah, it's definitely easy. Um, it's something that I feel like it suits me really well. Um, it's something that um, it kind of, you know, in, in a way comes naturally, you know, to me. And so uh, I would, it's very similar to what I did in Chicago, you know, in a ways. I think I played a lot more plays in Chicago um, and was on the field a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very similar. When, when you're not playing as many plays um, and it's – it, how, just how does that affect, like, how, you know, how your game goes? I don't think it really affects it much. You know, I'm still locked in regardless. And so, I mean, it's really early. You know, no one really knows what the role is going to be for them, themselves. And um, we're all just trying to figure that out and, you know, get better. And I don't really, you know, worry too much about that. You know, I've been in games where I've played, you know, 60, 70 snaps. And I've been in games where I've played four or five snaps. So, um, at the end of the day, you got to be ready when your number's called. Stephen Holder. Hey, um, I'm wondering if you could give us a sense of, of what uh, Phillips uh, sort of, um, I, I guess, what looks like when, when he's at practice. I mean, we, we've seen video of him in games and he's, you know, he trash talks and he does all these things. Do you get a sense of any of that in practice? Is he animated at all? Or what, what do you hear from him? Yeah, he has his times when he's animated. You know, uh, like I said earlier, probably the thing I'm most impressed by is just his control of the offense, you know, and um, just the ins and outs and everybody's position. It's really impressive. And so uh, definitely animated, um, very serious, you know, at times, um, but then also knows how to have, have fun.